Uh, we'll start with my burn one, just because we were talking about that deck for a little bit. Yeah, go on then. So, this is uh, the Cyber Dragon deck that I saw in Silver that I mentioned. Uh, I'll just like, right. let it load up. Okay, let's... Uh, Cyber I Dragon this replay feature, does not so. like when you don't have monsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of sets that on the card, right? Mm. Alright, so Joe just pulls it as soon as you start. Right. So, so, obviously, I've got the Trap Hole Pit because of Trap Trick, and I've got Fire because it's Burn. Um, you can see that I'm, like, only halfway through Solo because of Monolith, but this is... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's my token buddy because I just haven't finished it yet. Like, <laughs> no one really wants Monolith as a pet. It's just cooler than the one I start... It's cooler than the car they gave me when I was leveling my account. Yeah, nothing says Yu-Gi-Oh! Champion like a 2007 Toyota Corolla, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, uh, what I've got in my hand is two draw cards, two burn cards, and then Pot of Desires, which is, I, I guess, also a draw card. But in burn, you have three different identities. You have a burn card, a defense card, or a draw card. Um, ultimately, it's about doing 8,000 damage, so you can tell if it's worth using a card or not by how much damage it does. I have five cards to start with, so each would have to do 1,600 to win the game. So if I flip up Secret Blast and only do 300 with it, that's pretty objectively terrible. When you have something like Pot of Duality, that doesn't do any burn damage, but it replaces itself with either another draw card to replace itself, or a, a burn card. And then when you have something like Threatening Roar, similarly, it gets you a draw phase, so it replaces itself as if it were a draw card. Um, right. So ultimately, I've got five cards. If I want to OTK, they need to do 1600 each. Next turn, they would have to do 1,400 each because you have a seventh, a sixth card. And by turn eight, they only have to do 1,000 each. So the longer the game goes on, the less value you need per card. And when you have something like Desires giving you a plus one, you actually accelerate that turn clock by one invisibly. So when yeah. I look at this, I see like Ojama Trio will boost Blast's damage by 900 and let Balance draw an additional three cards, which is really nice. My only problem with playing Pot of uh, Duality in this deck is it tells your opponent that you're doing something suspicious. Right. Like, you know, what, what I play is like, I don't, my opponent like, sees three burn cards, they're like, nothing suspicious happening here, opponent, just move along. Just like, that was my problem playing Duality, because then they play differently. They put less cards on the field, they start making extra link plays to burn off cards <laughs> and resources. Whereas, like, you play this Pot of Desires before setting any cards, your opponent's going to be part, like, considering throwing down Ash Blossom immediately, right? right? I, I set the two before I played Desires specifically to discourage Ash Blossom because I wanted to make it look like I had something more sinister planned. Ah, okay, I see. So you were actually mind-gaming the opponent. Yeah. Now, this Engage, this is just to get the Hornet Drones, but they have no idea what deck I'm on, and because I have a couple back row, they could be Widow Anchors, they could be anything, so this yeah, now yeah. becomes, like, waste your ash on this, the card, so that they don't use it on Card of Demise. Yeah, yeah, it's essentially trying to try bait, the, uh, right. bait them on and you're less... It also cards. means that because both that and Desire is resolved, there is absolutely no way on Earth Messi has an Ash Blossom in his hand. So now Carter Demise is extraordinarily safe to play. Yeah. I mean, the only problem is, it's like, you're going to chuck two cards out. And that's, oh, and that's okay. I didn't hit pause in time. But that's okay. I don't need Balance of Judgment to draw cards anymore. And I can yeah. summon Lilith if I really want to. Yeah, I mean, this is a really, really strong stock. For you. Yeah, I, mean, I, I choose not to because in order for Lilith to use the trap, I have to use her this turn, and I already have five cards set. But because yeah. I have Ojama Trio, Just Desserts is now live at 1,500. Oh, Ojama oh, Trio and the Slope Dragon opponent. That's so, oh, so delightful. The salt <laughs> is going to be unreal. Now, another thing that's really nice is that there's now five cards in my graveyard for snow as well. Like, that's another thing that, like, Carter Demise and stuff like that yeah. just gives you. It's like, yeah, it doesn't matter that it drew two. All it has to do is draw one, and I just keep my numbers at 1,600. This one does 15 by summoning Hayate. This is going to do 15, and this is going to do 9 if I only use it on Ojama Trio. If I wait for him to play a card, it will do 12. So it's I am... when they go to destroy it, right? If, yeah, <laughs> if they... they decide to MST it, it'll do 1,000 more of them as well. It'll do 1,300 in, uh, in response... Or, sorry, 12... No, no, 13. It's 1,300 if they MST it, plus 9 more from the Ojama Trio, so... Like, if they I actually mean, do MST it, it's just the end of the game for them, but... 
you can win games off of your opponent just negating the activation and destroying your uh, secret class, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, because they take like, the Fizen from it. Oh, okay. Uh, to answer that question in chat, um, isn't Lilith quick? Yes, Lilith is a quick effect, but if I wait until their turn to use her, the trap it sets can't be used to that turn. And I didn't want to <laughs> just give them my monster to summon Cyber Dragon with, looking at this I big it, infinity it, pet. It has got the infinity. <laughs> like, it, it's just a card I didn't need when I want to be able to activate Hornet drones and I can't control a monster. And a big thing that made Burn uh, bad in the past was that people would use things like Chain Strike. So, like, again, if he summons Breaker the Magical Warrior and picks Chain Strike, what am I going to do? Chain just desserts and then Chain Strike so that Chain Strike does 900 instead of 400? If I waited for him to summon any other monster and then just desserts them for 1,000, it would be 14 instead of 9. I literally would do more damage waiting for a second monster and not using my trap card. So... The sooner you use your traps, the worse off you usually are. It's about using them when you want to, not when your opponent makes you. And things like Accumulated Fortune force you to use all of your cards prematurely. And that's what makes, like, the burn deck bad. It's why, like, Chain Strike went to one, because that's how everybody played the deck. But the reality is Chain Strike was the worst card in their deck. I guess Accumulated Fortune was worse, but... Yeah. If you want to run this through, yeah, you get the Infinity Path of the Mind Games. You've already let this run, because actually one of the things I really like about this burn deck, if you're unfamiliar with the meta, is it doesn't matter what your opponent's cards do. Mm -hmm. Like, you just kind of, like, you're ignoring it. You're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You're not playing the same game. You're playing math. You're just, like, going, okay, I need to get this much damage down to win the game. My cards need to be worth this much efficiency. Right. Unless my opponent's cards have the gates, and then I kind of have to read about it. But all the combos and stuff they're doing, I'm barely trying to interact with that. I don't need to. I mean, yeah, you can raise your win percentage if you know when to ring a destruction, but... For the most part, you're just like, I'm just trying to kill you with my cards. You do whatever you want over <laughs> Exactly. I'm, I'm, we're not playing the same game. So I, I did take a peek and see he only had five cards in his extra deck, and they were likely all Cyber Dragon fusion monsters. But I didn't want to give him the opportunity to link the tokens off anyway. So you do it in the end phase, so that you can burn him once now, and then once more in his draw phase with the cards you draw for turn, so that you get to use those tokens twice before they get linked away. It's so like, here's your fat meaty ojama guys that will now cost you like half of your life points like just kaboom and then i'm going to get to draw for turn use reckless greed and see two more cards and then whatever cards i set i'm going to get to use those tokens plus. again so as long as i like at this point it's 1850 per card so god forbid i see another just desserts to get 2500 there's already 1500 <laughs> of it set right here right so yeah so, so there's yeah, Secret Barrel, secret two barrel. per card. He's on nine, so that's 1,800 of the 1,850 I needed. So just uh, Reckless Greed needs to draw... Uh, I've got 1,800 and 1,500, it's 33. Reckless Greed needs to draw a card that can do 500 damage. Now, well, to be fair, you can just Secret Barrel and you've got 2,000 off of it in that draw step, right? Right. So naturally, I go for this. Uh, there are a lot of people who ask, like, why wouldn't you just go for the Hayate? Why would you risk, like, them negating this? And the answer is, if they Veiler it, it turns into Hayate. If they Ghost Ogre it, you still get the spell back. Like, it doesn't matter what they do to it, it still turns into Hayate anyway. Yeah. So it's always worth going for the Kagari. If you have it. It's an Ultra, it's optional, it just doubles the amount of burn damage this stupid spell gets to do. But, uh... I end up drawing another Reckless Greed and an Engage. I didn't get a burn card. It was tragic. And then he had the enemy controller to take my guy and then give it back to me in a monster zone, at which point I was like, oh no. But then I remembered I'm playing against a Cyber Dragon player, so he's going to Chimera tech my machine. So I didn't, like, I had nothing to worry about anymore. And that's when I knew I had game. Because I'm going to get to access code talker him next turn. Wait. Sorry, you've got you've got a couple of steps over. You're gonna access code talker your opponent. I'm back. going to access code talker my opponent for six next turn. Yes. For for this, sorry, with the these resources you have in front of you, you're gonna to get to access code talker. Yes, because I had Ray off of this no matter what, so I had two bodies. I drew Snow, so there's my second body anyway. But there was no way for him to kill me, and the game is now over. <laughs> so now he sets this, and in my head I'm like, okay, that could be just about anything but god forbid it's gear town so what it actually is is this card in his hand can't be imperm because as long as that's on the board 
that field spells on the board, he can't impair me from the hand. So if I clear this one back row, the game is over. Okay. I love how you're gonna go access code, Coco. Yes. I don't even gonna lie. That's just yeah. The burn deck just suddenly. Oh, I'll just I'll just switch to access code. Win. So we're just gonna flip things down, get them out of the way, and then abuse the fact that there's a Sky Striker link of every single attribute, and <laughs> just cycle oh, through all of the different see, colors. You can go ahead and speed this up because uh. I completely, yeah, I completely overlooked that that the Sky Strike is a little different, which is surprisingly is one of the reasons I think they're kind of unplayable. It goes and matches it what free in this game. Yeah, but you have a uh, Zeke is dark from Ray is dark, and then Zeke banishes a card on the field, so it's not usually that big a deal. Oh, so you can actually Sky Strike can actually get rid of goes. Yeah, there's also yeah, like there's also like um, afterburners destroys a back row if there's three spells. Yeah, the, oh, that's true. I guess you've got some. Yeah, at this point, Axis Code Talker just, like, banishes one of each attribute, and there's literally all six attributes in my graveyard. <laughs> so it just I'm wipes his entire field. Captain Planet. And Captain Planet is mad that the burn plan didn't go according to work out. <laughs> my god, that was disgusting. Yeah, I'm just gonna play all these burn cards and still kill you with Access Code Talker. And, like, even I if Lina didn't have a light game. to bring back, Snow can bring herself back to make the Link 3. Uh, it's also an extra 18... 1850 damage if you needed to reach. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she still was even in that board. She was another 1850 damage there. 